This video is on initial design ideas, so uh, finally getting to the, I suppose, the fun part of the project uh, where, well, the bit I enjoy really, where we're starting to come up with ideas and being creative and innovative with uh, our work. Um, now, this video is purely, uh, really, about what um, perhaps we need to do in terms of meeting the um, exam criteria, and it is purely a suggestion as to uh, what sort of things you might want to include uh, on your pages. However, if we discuss the new specifications for GCSE and in, indeed at ASNA level, we have to think about the focus of iterative design. Okay, so if you're unaware of what iterative design is, effectively it's a constant sort of process where you are uh, always prototyping, testing, analyzing, and refining or modifying your project as it goes along um, to show that sort of story, I suppose, or that development as it goes. So, um, as we know, design is a cyclic activity which which is constantly undergoing change so at no point really is design ever finished okay um, if it was I suppose we'd all be out of a job um, so it's, it's constantly undergoing now with the pages I'm showing here all I'm discussing is perhaps the sort of things you want to include just just to make sure that you're kind of meeting all the assessment criteria um, and I'm going to have a series of videos coming up uh, shortly about ways that you might want to approach the actual design process so this is more about the sort of things that you want to make sure that you've got on the pages I guess uh, to make sure your your um, initial criteria pages are, are good and you're meeting some of the assessment criteria as dictated by the exam board. So first of all, uh, if we look at this page, um, we have to make sure, um, ideally, that we've got a wide range of unique ideas. Okay, so this person is obviously working with um, uh, jewelry products, um, and it's it's the first page. I mean, you could have several pages like this, um, but we want to make sure that our designs are unique we want to make sure that they're different and innovative uh, from each other and obviously they should come from our design specification which obviously is fed by our research so when we're coming up with unique ideas we can use um, uh, other ideas for inspiration we can uh, come up with the, the mood board to, to hit particular um, inspiration in that sense or we can work with our consumer and stuff and this hopefully will ensure that we're not um, creating ideas that are too obvious or, or that have already been done before okay so it's all going to be fed from our research as you can see we've got one piece of inspiration I suppose over here and you can see how this design might have formed a sort of starting point but then the the student has kind of worked from that and there's lots of other sort of references to various different things uh, from his uh, mood board or from his research there that have appeared uh, to influence the designs okay so there we're linking in the research to show the how the designs are inspired and this could be links to lots and lots of research and again referring back to what we were talking about with iterative design as the research uh, happens so you know at the point of where it, it becomes important we can include it in to our uh, slideshows at that point okay so if we're coming up with design idea and suddenly we hit a problem we might do some research into anthropometrics or uh, looking at a particular uh, form of nature to inspire us to come up with a slightly different design and then we can include it in at that point to show how it's uh, changed so again we're, we're kind of constantly sort of um, analyzing and testing and refining our designs as we go in that sense okay now in addition to this in terms of the annotation we want to make sure that you know the basics are right we're checking our sort of um, punctuation our spelling our grammar that there's no sort of uh, issues in there but in terms of the sort of things that we can include in our annotation okay I'd say the most important thing I guess is function okay so we actually say what the things uh, are doing and what the product actually is okay it's often missed off or assumed by students okay so you just assume that people know exactly what you're doing and that's you know uh, apparent okay but sometimes it's not okay so it's very important I in my opinion to just explain what the design idea is perhaps what how it's inspired um, if there's particular different parts on it and stuff like this so that's the, the functional part of it okay now the other things that I see are kind of important are materials manufacture and measurements okay so I like to remember this by the little acronym M M M F okay so it's materials manufacture measurements and as I discussed already function I think it's very very important okay now the other three materials measurements and manufacturing details in my opinion these are just ways that you can start thinking about feasibility when you come to develop your idea further okay so if we don't know what material the products made out of it's not feasible if we don't know the size of it it's not going to be feasible and if we don't know how we're going to produce it again it's not feasible now we probably don't want to think about this too deeply at the start because 
we don't want to you know stall the flow of creativity or make it so that we can't be uh, creative or innovative okay but it's always worth thinking about functionality because if we don't we're basically not going to produce products that are going to work or that are in the realm of uh, reality in any way okay so it's always important to sort of think about the function in, in some sense as well and and by that we need to think about feasible ideas sort of thinking about some of these ideas okay so they're kind of the kind of crucial things I would include in terms of my annotation and how I'm developing ideas. But effectively, this is it. Point number five, this is all about iterative design, okay? So what we're constantly doing is evaluating and developing our ideas, okay, as we um, go across. And it might be a little bit of an old uh, way of saying this in terms of specifications, but talking about design decisions, okay? So in my opinion, a design decision, it happens all the time, okay? The difficult bit, is accepting when it happens that you have to actually record it in some way okay and this is the real hard bit especially with with students okay because you, you know you're designing everything is happening in your mind okay now the moderator or the examiner is not going to see inside your mind but he is going to see onto your uh, design pages and in your portfolio okay so you have to basically describe and dictate everything that's going on and every little change every little um, alternative or modification that you make should be recorded as you go okay now as a suggestion to further to develop the pages we can also kind of start thinking about sort of more formal techniques of um, displaying the idea for, for sort of a slightly better presentation and including CAD and perhaps even modeling I'll talk about this later uh, modeling to help develop design ideas okay so it's always best if you can to try and include formal techniques because again it's just going to make your um, communication that much better so if we're using oblique isometric or uh, perspective techniques or maybe even free line weight perspective um, to help present our ideas okay but if you can't do this I mean ultimately it's all in the annotation okay there are some very famous designers who are not you know particularly rated for the the quality of drawing but it's all about the communication and they can communicate themselves the only way you can communicate yourself is through annotation in your your um, portfolio okay so I can't address this enough you are constantly um, talking about your design decisions and constantly evaluating and annotating everything you do as you go through to make sure that these page pages are particularly comprehensive and are, are going to be very good